This is Wild Chronicles. I'm Boyd Matson. Even in a sport like skydiving, there are those for whom terminal velocity is just not fast enough. Mark Callum is a speed skydiver, what some call the fastest non-motorized sport in the world. The goal is simple. Just get out of the plane and try to go as fast as we possibly can in free fall. A normal skydiver in free fall hits a top speed of around 120 miles per hour. Mark wants to go faster. And when it comes to raw speed, the Peregrine Falcon puts humans to shame. Commercial pilot Ken Franklin is determined to get a fix on the Falcon's speed. At home, Franklin raises his own Falcons. But only now does he have the bird he's been waiting for his whole career, a female called Frightful. She's the one he believes will help him unlock the secret of the Peregrine's amazing speed. So that was the motivation for me, the dream of flight and the reality that it, at some point I could actually look in a falcon's eye while it's flying. The key to Franklin's method is training his birds to follow him. To do that, he designs his own lures, small cotton bags filled with lead weights and topped with a piece of meat. Franklin heads up, releases Frightful, and at 12,000 feet, she goes into her dive. After 10 seconds, she's going 120 miles an hour. Franklin releases the lure. Franklin shifts into hyperdrive, actually changing her shape during her dive. Her wings are folded back into her body, and she is transformed into a small flying teardrop. To help her handle these speeds, Frightful is also built differently than other birds. Her feathers are longer and harder, allowing her to maneuver at high speeds and pull out of steep dives. In only 43 seconds, Frightful snags the lure pulls out of her dive at 3,000 feet and heads home. Moments later, Franklin's chute snaps open. That's a good wow. one. <laughs> the verdict is in. 183 miles an hour. And one week later, Frightful breaks her record diving at an astonishing 242 miles an hour. Humans, determined to reach similar speeds, took a page from the Falcon's book and designed special suits that would allow them to stay stable when skydiving. These pants are actually big air scoops on. The bottom half of the pants actually inflates and it gives you the shuttlecock effect. Mark's burly upper body is like the Falcon's, the tip of a teardrop, like a shuttlecock in badminton. His air-filled pants are the feathers. The pants increase Mark's drag, but they give him much more control. Gravity does the rest, and Mark has hit top speeds of just over 300 miles an hour, thanks in part to the same techniques used by nature's fastest hunter. Check for Wild Chronicles on your local PBS station. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium.